Welcome to my channel. This is an indication of some of the things that I cover on a regular basis in my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to do so. And don't forget to click the little bell so that you'll get notified of future videos. Please feel free to share my videos on your social media. And I hope you enjoy the video which follows. Well, let the gardening season begin. <laughs> in a very small way, I guess. This is an 84 cell pack that I'm starting my onions in. Uh, the variety is an heirloom variety called Dakota Tears. I had pretty good germination and there were quite a few spots that didn't come up so I reseeded those and most of those have, have germinated and come up. I still see a few that even though they were reseeded haven't come up, not yet anyway. But they're doing quite well. Uh, they're in my regular back bedroom here where I always start my seedlings. And I keep the door closed and the heat in here is turned down to 5 degrees. But right now even with the door closed the room is, is at 15 degrees Celsius. So cool. I think that's best for some things, onions in particular. And today I just planted my... Uh, strawberry seeds. So I'll show you that. They're on a propagating mat, a heat mat, and under a dome as you can see. These things here look like more onions. Well, they're in the same family. Those are banana shallots. Um, seeds given to me by one of my subscribers. I think I'm correct in saying one of my subscribers from New Zealand. <laughs> hope I haven't got the country wrong, but I think he's from New Zealand. The strawberries I just planted, as I said, an hour or two ago. The variety is called Deliz, D-E-L-I-Z-Z. -Z. Uh, it's what I call an ever-bearing variety, and they call it a day-neutral hybrid. Um, I think both terms mean the same thing. They have the uh, bulk of their strawberries in one big flush in June, like like uh, most strawberry plants do. But unlike the average strawberry plant, they continue to produce right up until cold weather. Just not as many, but they still have berries right up until cold weather. It was supposed to be 10 seeds in the pack. I got lucky, I got 11, so I have 11 pots there. It said to plant them, but not to cover the seed. So I don't know if I can zoom in on one and show you the seed or not, but I'll give that a try. I think that's in focus. That little dot right there is the seed. You place the seed on the moist uh, compound. The uh, Mine is an organic uh, seed-growing compound. Supposedly has enough organic matter in it to support plant growth for three months. Well, these won't be in these little pots for three months if they germinate. Uh, I did some online research to find out about strawberries and how long it takes for them to germinate. I was surprised. Anywhere from one to five days. So as early as tomorrow, I guess I could expect to see some of these little things germinating. It said up to 10 days, but if they haven't germinated by 10 days, they're not going to. So that is my strawberries. I grew them from seed once before, don't remember the variety name, but that was uh, well, several years ago now. I had good germination, but the mistake that I made at that time is I sprinkled all the seeds in one pot and after they germinated and got growing, my plan was to transplant them into individual pots. And I always have good luck doing that with anything else that I've ever tried, but they did not like being transplanted. I lost well, probably three quarters of them, so this time I put one seed per pot. I think that's probably about a three-inch pot, I guess. So I'll, I will uh, look the, the, the variety up and, and show you a photograph of what they look like, a sort of a conical-shaped strawberry. Well, that's what the plant and the berries look like. And what is scrolling across the bottom of the screen there is uh, Vessi's um, 
information that was available on the catalog page when I ordered these. I wanted one that was long season, that you had heavy cropping in June and then that's it for the year. It doesn't seem to do much for me. I just like to have a few fresh strawberries occasionally throughout the season. Growing these from seed, I would, if I get fruit this summer, and I think I probably will if they germinate and grow, uh, I suspect it will be late into the summer before I start to see berries. Certainly won't have anything in June. There'll be very small plants at that point. But I have, from things that I've grown from seed before, like my alpine strawberries, I was surprised how quickly they uh, did start to bloom. At any rate, I will show you the little seedlings, hopefully the little seedlings, if they germinate, before I put this little short video up. It looks like spring has arrived. I took this picture yesterday, March 15th, at my next door neighbor's house. My crocus here on my property won't bloom for, well, another three weeks or so. His are in an ideal location right in front of his house in a little area that gets lots of sunshine, and they always bloom before the end of March. But I think this is probably one of the earliest times that they've ever bloomed, because most years, mid-March, there would still be lots of snow on the ground. But it sure is encouraging to see the beautiful patch of, of crocus in bloom. Well, this is day four since I planted the strawberry seeds, and so far no germination, so I'm going to finish this little video, and hopefully if I get germination, I'll show that in a future video. What I'm doing right now is something that might be crazy. It may not even work. I don't know. Pine trees do not naturally occur here on the island, or very rarely. Um, in eastern Maine and, and in southern New Brunswick, the Canadian province, American state, uh, the eastern white pine is very common. It doesn't seem to like coastal environments. I only know of, well, maybe three or four locations that I have found over the years of walking trails in the forest and whatever around here where there are one or two eastern pines that have, you know, uh, germinated and come up on their own. I assume the seed were probably brought to that remote area by birds. There's a bird that's very common here called the pine siskin, and it eats uh, seeds from cones like this. Um, a lot of people have pine trees on their property. I do as well, uh, ones that they have planted. Mine, I think, are some sort of a scotch pine or whatever, and they're still alive, but they're, <laughs> they're not doing well. They've been there on my property for probably 40 years, and they're nice big tall trees now, but they're slowly dying. Uh, I've been walking the golf course a lot with Angel, especially now that there's this uh, COVID-19 virus scare. We can go out there and walk and by ourselves and get, some, get some exercise every day. Around the edges of the fairways, when they built the golf course over 40 years ago, they put in a number of different kinds of seedlings, and several different kinds were pine trees. Uh, one of them is the kind that I have here on my property, and I think they've all died at the golf course already, or been cut down anyway. There are several that are thriving, and I don't know what this is. Uh, it was completely closed up earlier in the winter when I picked this up off the ground, this pine cone. The tree is a nice big tall tree, and there are several of them in various areas there. Um, and they have these nice pine cones, which were long and slender when I picked it, but as it's dried, it's, it's opened up. I just thought I'd like to try propagating it. Uh, it's just been sitting on a counter, and as it opened up, it started shedding its... There. See that? Another? Those are seeds. They've started falling out of it, and I have been collecting them. And these are all seeds. I don't know. I mean, it did go through a cold period, if it requires a cold period for germination. I didn't uh, 
pick it up until probably about a month ago, so it went through the better part of the cold weather this winter. Anyway, I'm going to try propagating them. I've got this little tray here with some potting mix in it. I'm just going to barely stick them in the soil like that. Um, the way these seeds are designed by Mother Nature, when they leave the tree, if a bird isn't carrying them, when, they, when the wind carries them away from the tree, the top part acts as a wing and uh, it falls on the, on, the, on the air and as it drops, of course the bottom part being heavier, it drops that way down and if you can see there that one almost rooted itself or stuck itself in the dirt. Anyway, they fall into grass in various places and work their way down to the soil and I don't think a very high percentage of them ever make it to germinate. But I'm going to stick most of these in that planter. Uh, I have a plastic cover for it. I'll cover it over and keep it under lights and we'll see in a few weeks time or months time or whatever. I'll just take up a little space here I guess until I find out if they germinate. If they germinate, I want to grow them on. Uh, I will pot them individually after they've grown a bit. And, uh, oh, I don't know, probably grow them on for a couple of years before I uh, transplant them out into the, onto my property or give them away to be transplanted out in other places. I will eventually put them in grow bags, like a gallon grow bag, and I'll, in the winter time I will put them in the in the hoop house. I'll heal them in the ground in the, in the hoop house in the late fall. That's what I did to my chestnut trees. Uh, they're in the hoop house still right now. This Sometime this year, the chestnuts I plan, the ones that make it through the winter anyway, I plan to uh, plant them out. But anyway, you don't need to watch me stick little seeds in the dirt here. I will get this put together and uh, up on YouTube. And thank you very much for watching.